Have you ever felt like, you know, that moment when you're talking and um, you kind of struggle with the right words to say? Well, if you ever find yourself in that situation, this video is totally for you. Today, we're going to talk about how not constantly adding new words to your vocabulary might actually help you speak better. Welcome to Luxo Life, your cool life buddy. If you find this video interesting, don't forget to hit the like button, drop your thoughts in the comments, and share it with your pals so we can get the word out there. If you're new here, feel free to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for updates. Alright Luxo lovers, let's dive right into the everyday challenge many of us face. Finding ourselves in a bit of a bind when we're trying to express ourselves in English because our word arsenal is somewhat limited. You see, it's like this. Sometimes when we're having a conversation, we hit a point where we're stuck and our brain is like, hey, what's the word I'm looking for here? We're left grappling for words and it can get a tad frustrating. But hey, we're in this together, alright? You know, the thing about improving our language skills isn't just about stuffing your brains with tons of new words. It's more like a shift in our approach. See, the key here is to work with what we've got already in our vocabulary toolbox. It's kind of like having a treasure chest filled with jewels, but you never really use them because you're always out there searching for new shiny ones. The truth is, the real transformation happens when we take those familiar words we already know and give them new life, like polishing those old gems to their finest shine. So here's the deal, the answer isn't to bury ourselves under an avalanche of new vocabulary words. Instead, we need to tap into the potential of the words we've had all along, but maybe haven't used to their full extent. It's all about getting comfortable with the words we've got in our repertoire, and then weaving them into our conversations like a pro. Think of it as upgrading your speaking skills, turning those everyday words into trusty companions for clearer, more effective communication. One common pitfall that many of us find ourselves in when trying to improve our language skills is the tendency to draw comparisons with how we fare in our native language. Now let's unpack this a bit. Imagine you're embarking on a journey to learn a new language and you start weighing your performance in that language against your prowess in your mother tongue. It's a bit like comparing apples to oranges, isn't it? The languages are different and they serve various purposes in your life. So the thing is, dwelling too much on this comparison can be counterproductive because it can lead to frustration and unnecessary self-criticism. Here's the deal. Every language has its quirks, nuances, and unique features. So it's not quite fair to stack up your abilities in a new language against those in your native one. It's like expecting a rookie swimmer to compete with an Olympic champion in a completely different pool. The key is to embrace your progress and understand that it's a journey. You're learning and that's something to celebrate. By freeing yourself from the chains of comparison, you can approach your language learning journey with a more positive and constructive mindset which ultimately paves the way for better results and a more enjoyable learning experience. Having said these, many of us including myself have faced the situation of learning impressive words but struggling to use them in our everyday conversations. It's like finding a chest of valuable gems but they remain hidden and unused. You see, people often think by continuously adding new impressive words to their vocabulary, they will become better at speaking. Clearly, the main issue lies in neglecting those trusty everyday words we have always relied on. Words like happy, interesting, or beautiful may seem basic, but they hold great potential. So instead of constantly searching for new words, the secret is to make the most of the words you already have. Think of those underused words as valuable tools in your language toolbox. Instead of collecting new tools all the time, it's about getting better at using the ones you already have. This approach allows you to speak more clearly and effectively in everyday conversations. So the focus should be on the words you already know rather than always looking for new ones. If you want to grow your vocabulary with fancy words, that's a great goal. 
but it's important to understand that this doesn't happen instantly. It takes some time and effort. Instead of just collecting these impressive words, it's a good idea to be curious and listen actively. Think of it this way. Imagine you're on a mission to improve your vocabulary. Being curious is like having a compass that guides you on this journey. It means having a real interest in words, what they mean, and how to use them well. It's like when you were a kid and always asked why because you wanted to know how things worked. In this case, your curiosity is focused on words. You want to explore and understand them better, like finding hidden treasures in your language. As you nurture your curiosity, one important step is to become a good listener. It's like becoming a detective for words in your everyday life. You start picking up new words and phrases from different sources like conversations, books, or movies. These words are like clues that make your vocabulary more interesting. It's a bit like putting together a jigsaw puzzle, where each new word you discover is like finding a piece that fits perfectly into your language puzzle. You can also create a note on your phone and write down words you hear in everyday conversations, especially the ones that you think you might want to use. It's like making your own word collection that you can look at when you want to improve your vocabulary or make your talks more interesting. This way, you keep a record of these words you find in your daily life and they become easy for you to use when you want to get better at speaking. What we're saying is that there's a way to get comfortable using new words. It's like teaching your mouth how to say them without feeling nervous. First, say the word many times, like 20 to 30 times quickly. It's like practicing a new dance move until it feels natural. Then look for sentences that use the word online. It's like seeing the word in action so you know how to use it. Lastly, make up your own sentences with the word. It's like telling a story with that word in it. The more you do this, the easier it is to use the word in your conversations. It's a bit like getting better at playing a musical instrument when you practice. So by doing these, you become more confident using new words when you talk. Before we end, let's talk about a smart tip that can really help your language skills. It's not just about always finding new words, it's also important to get better at using the words you already know. It's a bit like practicing a musical instrument to play it better. You can train yourself to be better at using words you're familiar with and that makes you speak more smoothly. Remember, using all your senses helps you remember words. It's like making a mental movie of the word so your brain remembers it more easily. So the next time you want to remember a word, try saying it, seeing it written, and even feeling it in your mouth when you say it. This can help the word stick in your memory just like a favorite song you can't forget. By the way, you can also make a list of 10 words you know but don't use often. Then promise yourself to use these words more in your everyday conversations. It's like giving those words a chance to shine. By practicing and using these words, you not only grow your own vocabulary but also become a better communicator. It's like using more colors when you paint. It makes your language more interesting and lively. Finally, it's not just about your own progress. You can help others too. By sharing your knowledge of words with others, you can make everyone's language better. It's like planting seeds that grow into a big garden of words that everyone can enjoy. So, as Luxo lovers, we encourage you to not only get better at using words, but also to share your word knowledge with others. Together, we can all make our language skills better and have fun doing it. And that's a wrap, Luxo lovers. We hope you've gained some valuable insights today. And, um, you, um, just kidding. Seriously though, we genuinely want you to take away something that can make your speaking better. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share your thoughts in the comments, and pass it on to others who might benefit. And if you're new here, subscribe to Luxo Life, your partner in life. Don't forget to hit that notification bell for updates. We'll catch you in the next video, Luxo lovers. See you next time!